Okay, so we have a fresh WordPress install. I haven't done anything to it. This is what it looks like right now. Um, out of the box, but we're going to make some changes. First thing I'm going to do is add my theme. The theme that I use is called Divi Theme. It comes from Elegant Themes. Let's go to that site real quick. And, um, join the shit. It's $69 a year. $89 a year for all the themes and lifetime access is $249. Um, I went ahead and did the $249 deal just because I do use Elegant Themes for a lot. I use a lot of their themes. And with the lifetime access, you do have complete access to all the themes, all the plugins, and their um, customer service is pretty on point. So, anyway, so I'm going to go to Appearance. This is your um, admin panel. We're going to go to Themes. <coughs> Excuse me, and we're gonna add new. So upload. And we have to hit upload again for some reason. Here we go. Then choose file. And we're going to choose Divi. And this is an older um, version of Divi, so we will be updating it. I haven't bothered to download the latest version of Divi from Elegant Themes that has used the updater. But it's a good idea to go ahead and um, install the updater anyway. So that's installing. It does take a minute or two, so don't freak out. My little um, progress bar up there is just rolling around. So there we go. So the theme has been installed successfully. I'm going to click Activate. It's going to change it to the Divi theme. So now let's hit refresh and we can see what a difference this is going to make just by changing the theme. There we go. So now a blank slate. The next thing we're going to do is add some plugins. So add new. And this is kind of like my standard, um, <laughs> standard chain, chain of events every time I start a new website. So we're going to hit upload plugin. Come on. There it goes. Choose file. All right. I'm going to have quite a few. We're going to start with Divi Booster. And Divi Booster, I want to say, is $19. And I really like it. Yeah, $19. It's a really good add-on. It lets you do some customizations that Divi doesn't let you do out of the box. And for $19, it's quite a steal. So that has been installed, and we're just going to hit activate. Next thing we're going to do is add a new plugin. So we're going to add quite a few. Choose file. And the next one I'm going to um, do is actually called Elegant Themes updater. This keeps my theme up to date. Install. Activate. So every time you install a theme, you have to activate it. So just because it's and just because it's uploaded doesn't mean that it's working. So um, I'm going to go down to settings, general. I need to enter in my Elegant Themes Automatic Update Settings. This is not the correct username and password. Um, I will be, you can get, it says under your Elegant Themes API key, you actually get that from Elegant Themes whenever you um, purchase their theme. So let me pause this while I put in the right username and password. Okay, that has been put in. And while I'm on this page, I may as well change this to my actual site title. Break up with your boss in the tagline, whatever it is, and then we're going to save changes. I had X out of all these little notifications that pop up. I don't want any of that. Okay, next plugin. Add new. We're going to be um, adding a child theme creator called Orbisius or something. And there it is. 
Orbisius. Let's see, I'm not sure. Orbisius child. I'm not sure if this is a free um, plugin or if I paid for that. Looks like it's free. So you can just go right here and download that child theme and then upload it and then hit activate. So with Orbisius, let's see, is there anything? I'll go ahead and um, update now. And I know I need to update the actual theme of Diddy. You want to try to keep anything that you have active um, updated. Now that we've up updated the child theme creator, we're going to go ahead and add a couple more plugins. Um, just while we're on the subject of plugins, so that we don't have to go back and redo. So upload, choose file, and I want to do the elegant themes updater. Oh, I already did that one. I need elegant themes short code. I think that's yeah. This allows you to use something called short codes, which is like I don't even know how to explain it. Like a little snippet of code that you use to grab something from somewhere else. It's great. Just gonna activate that. Okay, and then we're going to add use any font, which is a plugin that allows you to use any font. So, um, and I think you can do one font for free on any site, and then like 10 bucks you can install as many fonts as you want on as many sites as you want. So, I do have that. Um, I did buy that, but you can use it for free for up to one font for any site. Let's go to activate. And then let me go to the settings. Well, first I need to update it. Let's see, view details. Is that where I put in my key? Nope. Settings. I forgot where to put in my password for use any font. Oh well. I'm sure I will come across it at some point. Oh, there it is. Use any font. Then the sidebar. Everything shows up in a different place. So I'll be putting in my password right there or API key. And um, this is where you actually upload fonts. Let me pause this while I put in my password. And this is, okay, so I just put in my password. So this is where you would actually upload fonts from your system, wherever your system stores it. I'm on Windows with C Drive, Windows, and then Fonts. Alright, so we're going to add some more plugins, I believe. Let's see. Add new. I think we're just about done with plugins. Got to do the booster, yes. Alright, I'm going to upload one more, and I think that'll be it for now. If I can think of anyway. Balloon. And then we're going to update um, Divi itself once that's installed. And Bloom is a, a, a plugin that helps collect email addresses. Okay, so now let's go to Appearance Themes. And see where it says new version is available. Update now. Okay, the theme has been updated. So your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. So let's see what that looks like. And it just does that automatically. I mean, that's fine. Because I'm logged in, it lets me see if I weren't logged in. I would just say, you know, coming soon, but here we go. Everything is blank. Now we're going to change all of this stuff and make it look pretty in just a minute. So let me go ahead and stop this recording and then we'll start another one.